Back on the balance sheet, I'm going to create a trial balance by clicking on trial balance. We'll pick one prior period and click on create. So this is going to create for us a worksheet, but it's a fully dynamic worksheet. Whatever changes we make in our workbook, they're going to be reflected on here. For example, that other income account, remember the new one? Here it is on top where it doesn't belong. So let's fix that. I'm going to go to my chart of accounts. I'm going to take other income and just drag it down to the bottom where it should be right above interest income, close. As soon as I click close, I don't know if you saw that, but the trial balance immediately updated and moved that account on the trial balance. So if we scroll down, it should be right here at the bottom in row 82. This worksheet is also dynamic in other ways. If I double click on the checking balance, Again, I have access to my GL detail, so I can do that from my trial balance worksheet. And it's set up to show my unadjusted balance, any adjustments I've made, the adjusted trial balance, and then where this ties into the balance sheet. So for cash, we group that into cell D12. It tells us that, and it even tells us the sequence of the accounts when we group them. When we moved that other income account, I want to point out that on the balance sheet, nothing changed because the groupings, not the account numbers, is what drives each of these financial statement line items. So it doesn't matter that in the chart of accounts, I've now moved where other income shows up. In our groupings, everything stayed the same. Our balance sheets stay the same because the account numbers don't really matter for how we group the data together. Let me also show you the adjusting entries because they should show up on our workbook here. They're very easy to do. I'm going to click on adjusting entries and insert to create a new one. So it's automatically going to number this entry number one. And I need to select an account. Let's do checking. Let's debit it for, let's say $10,000 so we notice the difference. Next line, again, it's just asking me to pick the account and then the amount. And I could continue next line if this is a longer journal entry where I can click OK. Uh, if I want to, I can enter a comment. And when I click close, the adjustment shows up here. We get unadjusted, the adjustment shows up right there, and then sums up to adjusted trial balance and from all of this we can still access any of those details. Back to the balance sheet, I should also point out that when we made that adjusting entry we weren't on the balance sheet but it automatically updated as well and now my cash and my AR balances are different by ten thousand dollars than when we started out. Let's look at lead sheets which is another working paper these get automatically created. So let's look at cash because that's the account we've been working with. I'm going to click on create. And this now shows me D12, where this is coming from on the balance sheet, all the accounts that make up that grouping and their balances. So I could do my tick marks over here or any comments I want to down here and I could have selected all the lead sheets and they would all be automatically created. Then also from the balance sheet, we have grouped account sheets. I'm going to click on checking and here's that journal entry I made. This is looking at the data in a different way. It's just the checking account, but it shows me my unadjusted balance, my adjustment, and how I got to the adjusted balance. Go to our website, excel-fsm.com, and download your 30-day free trial that lets you have a full version of the software for 30 days.